Your business is something like a Google experience, that's how you put it, but this is for businesses. Explain to us uh, your pricing model and who your clients are. So yeah, yes, it's an AI-based search engine for market intelligence and uh, clients are all kinds of businesses from financial firms to um, uh, companies from every industry. Um, half of the S&P 100 companies are using our product. So you know, really the largest companies in the world typically, they're making very, very big decisions in their businesses. So they need the best uh, kind of intelligence and insights uh, driving that. Give us a sense, an example of a, a query that a company might have that AlphaSense would be able to get the answer to better than other products out there. Uh, well, let's say if you're a, a pharmaceutical company launching a new product uh, and uh, you want to understand you know, what are the existing products in the market and what's going to be the lay of the land, not just now, but in a couple of years, you'd be searching for um, you know, other uh, products or other companies that talk about the same, same illness and uh, you know, not just companies in, you know, in your locality, but understanding kind of globally who is talking about this and understanding sort of who is coming into the market, what, what's coming out of the FDA trials. What about uh, uh, you know, uh, other international regulators? So really trying to get a global picture of, uh, uh, of all the information that really drives ultimately your, your decision on, on betting on that product. The research market seems to be fundamentally changing. Finance research sort of becoming obsolete. You have more passive investing. You have more reliance on AI. So how is your business taking advantage of these macro changes? Well, I, I absolutely wouldn't say that it's, anything's becoming obsolete. It's actually, yes, there are, there are certainly big trends in the market happening, but um, we're actually enabling fundamental research. Uh, we're we're uh, augmenting analysts, uh, providing them AI uh, that helps them really um, gather information at a much higher pace and higher accuracy so that they can actually compete with uh, passive investing ETFs and, and you know, the fierce competition in the market. So we're really arming them with, uh, with technology. What does this $50 million investment get you? Well, um, of course, at this stage, uh, an investment like that uh, does uh, go heavily into scaling a company and addressing the market demand. Um, but uh, what I'm really excited about is uh, really investing um, in the technology and doubling down on, on AI. There's, there's a lot of exciting stuff that we've, we've done, but uh, our vision uh, still leaves us a lot to do over the coming years, and we're really investing in expanding our technology team and really uh, betting heavily on, on uh, using AI to uh, really map all these billions of data points out there uh, that companies uh, care about and need uh, to drive their decision making and adding more and more intelligence to help them get uh, more accurate results and more precise alerts right when they need the information. These technological innovations is not only affecting your business but also affecting the whole market research environment. Tell us a little bit about uh, the current situation. So currently, the situation is not that different, actually, from my early career when I was an analyst at Morgan Stanley and doing this research uh, in a very manual way. Uh, you'd print out a big pile of paper, documents, uh, or uh, control F search, one PDF at a time. And it was incredibly manual and slow and unreliable. So you know, if I'd be walking then into a, um, a client board meeting and helping to recommend an M&A deal, I feel like I know half the information right. that I need to know.